Well, generally, I think once you've got your current clients covered, uh, to attract and retain new clients, find the organizations to which they belong and plug in. Get active, work your way up through leadership. You wouldn't believe what's out there when you go looking for it. There are organizations for just about anything. Um, I, I believe the concept of niching is important as well. There are riches and niches. You can't be all things to all people you don't want to be. But find your audience, figure out where they hang out, and join the party. For plaintiff firms, it's also vital to know your audience because you so often are solos and you can't be everything to everybody. Remember, we live in a world of information saturation. There's no longer just four TV channels where people sit down and get the information they want. We get our information from social media, from the web, from our peers. In fact, more than 60% get their news from social. So what I would do is share your messaging everywhere so that you're always top of mind. Use email marketing, use social media, put videos out there on YouTube so that you're connecting on a platform that your prospects want and you're always going to be found. Now you notice that Corey said you want to be everywhere. I said you want to be niched. You don't want to be everywhere. But I think it really depends on your practice, where you want to take it. Uh, and, and plaintiff's lawyers certainly are casting a much wider net than most commercial lawyers. That's why I said be everywhere because you never know who your client is. If you're making wills, well, everybody is your client. So you need to be out there and let them know what you do. Because if you're not out there, someone else is. Now, I'm not going to bed thinking about making a will. However, if I got your name from a friend or all of a sudden I got an email and I just had my second child, I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, need to update the will because you shared that with me. And I'm going to take your messages and share it with friends as well, but they've got to be educational messages as opposed to solicitation. But let me give you an example of a, of a family lawyer in South Florida and his niche is doctors, Jewish doctors specifically. And if you're a Jewish doctor looking at a divorce or a prenup or uh, you got a custody issue, he's on your radar screen. Very niched, even though it's a somewhat uh, consumer-oriented practice, he is very, very niched on Jewish doctors in South Florida. Well, you've and got guess to go what? He's charging a fortune and they're lined up at his door. But if you're going with a niche, that's true, like men's divorce only or something along those lines. We see that. Whatever your niche is, go with it. But if you don't have a specific niche towards a specific gender find or a certain one. group, you can find one. But if you're casting a wider net, it also gives you more opportunity too.